Hello and welcome. Day 3, Coca-Cola Polar Rollers game. Refreshing, push your luck, fun. Everyone remembers the Coke Bears for Christmas. Those cool commercials, love the ones there. We play some cool stuff, but who knows what's special on the Penguin. All stuff. Mm. Good stuff. Hey, Polar Bears. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's see what the game is. It's not one of those neat Funko games that came out this year. Always love these when they had to pack them with a bow. The inside's nice. Here's the instructions. Now there's a little dry erase board for you to keep score with. The one where you can draw and erase. We didn't use this when we were playing it already this year. We just rather have nice pen and paper. Keep that stuff intact and hopefully, well if it dries out, it dries out. But at least it still looks nice. Here's the dice. Yep, that is the dice. And then here's the rest of the game. Let's just get into it. Here's the polar bear dice. One will have a little scarf on it that's red that says Coca-Cola. The other one also has it on the other side. So one side it's that, and the other side is not. Then there's these things. They have numbers on them and they'll have different ways that you're supposed to roll. And that's how you score, how those fall when you roll them. Setup is very simple. Lay them out like that for all the different score numbers. And uh, take the dice and pass them to the youngest player who goes first and start rolling and we'll figure out how it goes on. Very simple, very easy little game. And fast too. The object is to score the most points by the end of the game by rolling those little bear dice. So take the little bears and then, you know, roll the bears instead of roll the bones. And then however they're going to look is going to be how a card is and that'll be the point you get. The cards are pretty neat. There's a day side, the regular side, then there's the nighttime side on each one, which scores more points. The 25s become 50s, the 30s, you know, are double from the 15, 10 becomes 15, 5 becomes 10, and the 1s become 5. So you can score more points. Before you roll, you choose any one of these, and let's say you're not as confident, but let's say you'll just go this and flip it over. That means... If you roll during your turn, something like this, you'll get 30 points. And the point of the game is you roll, roll the bears over and over again until you don't want to. So roll them until, oh, look at that. Until, there we go. So two of them both like this, so you would get 10 points for that one. So keep rolling until you want to stop and then score your points for what you have, and then return. All these back, and then flip this one back if you did or didn't get. And then it's the next player's turn, and they can choose any one. Like, maybe say they'll choose this one to flip. And then they'll grab the polar bear dice and give them a roll. Let's use this one as an example and just play real quickly. All right, so one facing that way, one facing up that way. Let's see. We have one that would be that, so we'll take the 15 points. And the other one is on his side. Is there any bears that's on their side? Upside down. Nope. So, but you just get the roll again. And then there's a bear on his side, and this one is on his butt. So that means, nice, you get 25 points here. If I would have been, that's a hard one to get, but then when he, anyway, if I would have flipped it, I would have got 50. Now you can keep taking your chance. Now your chances dwindle, obviously. Like, say you end up getting that one, and then let's say... Both of these ones were the result. You're going to have, like, if you roll that, and they all come up that, well, that's it. You took too far of a chance, and now you freeze out and freeze out, you get nothing. And then any of these that you had, they don't count. You flip everything back to where they were, but the nighttime ones stay there, meaning the next player has a chance to do this. They have a chance for two. Just kind of go by, so when you roll the dice, if it looks like that, you'll get that one. If they look like this, you can score that. Do it again, you might score it again. If they all face that way, well then there you go, on their sides. That's the ones that are on their sides, they're the easiest. Then there are these ones. If you have one that's like that, then you'll score one of these. If you have one that landed on like that, then you'd score one of those. And then obviously one on his nose, you'll get that. One on his butt looking up, and you'll get those. 
And that's basic game of the Polar Rollers. It's very easy, very quick. Anyone can play it. There's really not much skill. It's all luck-based because it's a dice game and a roll game. But it can get very annoying where you're like, oh, I wish I would have flipped that one over. But you got this. Let's see if we did flip over. We got 30. One on the side. You got to get two on the side. So nothing so far. And we score one. I'm going to press my luck again. One on his side, not both on his side, but one face down like that, so that'll be five because of this guy. See? And I'm going to keep pressing my luck until, ooh, one like this, and then one on his nose. Um, I feel like I'm going to end up rolling something like this, so I'm going to add up my points for the drown, so I got 25, 26, ooh, 56 will be my score. And whoever gets to 100, when someone scores 100 points or more, everyone else gets one last turn. Then the game is over. Player with the most points wins. In case of a tie, play again. And that's it. It's a neat little game. It's actually pretty fun. It just kind of sucks when you don't get the rolls you want and someone else does. But I do like the dice. I like that they're these little wooden shaped bears. Very, very nice. Very festive-y. Wintery and yes, very Christmassy because they're the Coke Bears. So, hope you liked it. Give it a try if you can. I love these cheap little Funko games. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you more for more 12 days of Christmas games. Mm, have a Coke.